That's it, friend. Hey guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome to episode 3 of Thrift Trade or Shop. So I went to Target, Goodwill, and GameStop. I'm going to show you the Goodwill pickups first. I picked this game up, which I already traded, but I kept the case and the manual. My game is inside and it was $4.99. I went to my local Goodwill and that's what they cost. And I also kept the manual, which I don't know if I should have because it's a bit dirty from there. Uh, but $4.99 and I traded it into GameStop. So the next game that I got, which I'm not sure if it is worth $4.99, but I got ready to rumble on the Wii, which I didn't know this game was made for the Wii. Also $4.99 and it does have the manual and the game inside of it. I gotta give this a try. It looks pretty goofy the way that the uh, pictures are all right so next i'm going to show you the target pickups which is pretty much just two things that i picked up i picked up this decal it was one something i don't really remember and i also picked up a shirt which has been sitting there for about three or four weeks now so i can't wait to put it on All right, and next I'm going to show you the GameStop pickups. So, hope you guys are ready. So for the GameStop pickups, everything was paid for with trade and credit. I didn't pay anything out of my own pocket. So that was pretty awesome, I think. I did trade in the Mario Kart Wii game and the Mario Brothers Wii game that you guys saw in the flea market episode from last week. Somebody suggested that I should go to a different GameStop and I did and they accepted it. They said they were gonna charge me a defective fee or something like that i've heard of refurbishing fee but i didn't hear of defective fee in the time that i've been trading at gamestop so if you guys have heard of that let me know in the comment section down below i guess they charge the same i'm not sure i know the refurbishing fee is about three dollars and first off i want to show you guys this mug which has been sitting there for about a week and a half maybe two weeks now i can't wait to use this this was 12.99 at gamestop a little pricey but you know i I had to pick it up. It's a pretty cool mug. And next I'm going to show you guys what you probably already saw on Instagram and Twitter. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is my very first collector's edition. I got it for $29.97. It's on clearance for the Xbox One version. I believe the PS4 version is the same price that it says on the box. But yes, I pretty much just got it for the statue. I'm not really interested on the book and the tie. The code has already been used. So if you want to do a trade for the book and the tie, I'd be happy to do so. I'm going to put this statue above where the creeper is right now, above the letters. So uh, let me show you guys the statue. Let me take it out. First off, I want to show you guys the book. This is the Hitman book. I'm pretty sure it is just a uh, book of the scenery in the game. This is the tie, which is just a red tie. And this is the clip, which shows the logo on it. So yeah. So here's the statue. I took off the bag that it came with. And as you guys saw in the picture, the hardwood floor actually looks pretty nice in the picture. It doesn't really look as nice on this camera, but um, I think for $29.97, this is very good. And I kind of came home and checked it just in case because the box does not weigh what I thought it would weigh. It was really light. I thought it would be heavier than that, but he doesn't really weigh that much. Um, the next collector's edition that I want to get is the Sonic Mania collector's edition. And I also want to get the Bioshock collector's edition, which I saw was about $139.99 or $199.99. I'm not really sure on that, but that is expensive. I'm going to wait until it goes down in price. But I am very happy to have this in my collection and he will be right up there in the next video that you guys see. So the last thing that I got at GameStop, this was $49.99 at GameStop. I'm very happy to finally have this and I'm going to show it to you guys. 
So here you guys go. Let me show you the light bulb that's in his mouth. I think that's a pretty good size. I'm not sure how much light he's going to give off, but I have plugged it in. And yes, that looks so nice. He is a bit heavy too. I had a spot for him planned out, but I think the spot that I am, have decided to put this on it is much heavier than I thought so I don't think I'll put him up there but um I don't know I don't know we'll we'll see if that actually works but it is still daylight outside so I'm not sure how bright this is I've heard it's not that bright but uh we will see he was in styrofoam so my room is a mess right now I have to pick it up um this is actually USB connected, so you can connect it to your computer if you'd like, but they give you a separate power adapter so you can plug it in to a wall or a power strip if you'd like. Um, I'm just so glad to finally have this. Thank you to the person in the comments that said I should go to a different GameStop. I really do appreciate you guys trying to help me out with the Mario game from last time. A lot of you were giving me suggestions on places that are near you guys that you go to so thank you very much um hopefully you guys liked my pickups this week it was a lot more than i thought hopefully you guys enjoyed it and thank you guys for watching thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos if you want to follow me on twitter or instagram the links will be down below in the description happy hunting until next time guys i'll see you in my next video